Oh, that's my song right there. You can let that play for us. So much for coming yeah. to our live podcast today with my They didn't turn you off. <laughs> See, I told them I wanted to hear what you had to say. Look, we ain't, <laughs> no, 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 we ain't gonna do that. Thank you everybody for coming out, man. This is our podcast, me, Miss Certified, and Sir Glenn Alice Podcast, man. It's what we do. We call it sip and a trip. And today we are gonna do it live with our people. Yeah, yeah. And we got a guest today. From Memphis, Tennessee. Ooh, 96.3. Bumpin' 96.3. Yeah. Actually, actually sexy, y'all. Oh, yeah, you should have seen her butter them lips yeah. up in the back. <laughs> <laughs> there were two pieces getting a biscuit back there, I'm telling you. But, man, I'd like to thank y'all. We really do appreciate y'all for showing up. I can't believe everybody that came out. Thank you so much. Y'all don't understand, this is so much dear to our hearts, okay? Now, as we do this, I'm gonna let, well, let Glenn give y'all a little rundown of how we need y'all to act. I don't need nobody being niggerish tonight, okay? We got Marty back here to own We cannot do the stereotype today, okay? No stereotypes. We know how to act today, right? Sometimes. Okay, whoever didn't say nothing, them the motherfuckers you watch out for. <laughs> but Glenn, go ahead. How's everybody doing tonight? All right, so because this is a live broadcast, we're gonna ask that this, we got a few house rules. So we're gonna ask everyone, if you could, please put your phones on vibrate or silent, please. So pull out your Androids, your flip phones, uh, your tablets, you know. <laughs> Not the tablets. Government phones. <laughs> Welfare phones, it's Whatever okay. they call you on, <laughs> pull it out. And put your phone on silent or vibrate because this is gonna be a live recording. Uh, yes. So we're going to ask that if no one could please come up here because you see the video cameras are in here. So um, we are actually about to get this on and popping. Yes. Um, there is going to be some crowd participation, but we ask that you all just don't do too much. Because we got some stuff we're going to talk about tonight that may, you know, cause a little controversy. Oh, uh, somebody going to be pissed in the car. I mean, it won't be in my car. <laughs> no, 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 you came by yourself. So... Uh, what we gonna do? We gonna start off. That's because we got two cars. Oh, ooh! Look at what, look what two incomes do. Look what two incomes do. Let's keep the show rolling. Okay, okay. We, I'm quiet. You know, you gotta shut me up twice. Now, but speaking of households, what, what do you? How do you feel about households? Do you think people should go fifty fifty? Think it should be a fifty fifty thing or what? Me personally. Now, this is my personal opinion. That means it don't count. Well, it count for my household. Okay, okay. I mean, because I'm married 10 years. Oh. Okay. Don't be flexing. You married? Don't be flexing. You married? No. No, no okay, I'm divorced then. twice. Oh, okay. Twice. I'm divorced twice. You ain't did some shit right. I've been fucking uh, up my whole life. But let's talk about 10 years. <laughs> so hold on, hold on. Before y'all get into those questions, y'all forgot to introduce the sipping and the tripping. We should. Y'all yeah, for real. Yeah, I mean, I was, was, this, I was fixing to give him what he asked for. Okay. You know, best clean. You know, he always throws me out. Okay, so you thank you, everybody. What we gonna See, do? I like the way you got your shade song because this is going to be a lot of shade in here. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to let you know, for everybody, do me us a favor. We're going to all raise our glass when we're going to say sipping. We're going to clink your glass with somebody close to you. We're going to say tripping. Okay, y'all ready? All right. Welcome to sipping and, and tripping. tripping. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, can we go back to that title now? Like Absolutely. Okay, go ahead. So, I, I can't personally speak for anybody else's household. Now, I'll say, what do what works for you. Who created 50-50? Somebody, 
So does that mean the husband is paying half the rent and the woman paying half the rent? That's what 50-50 is. Well, is that a marriage? Is that a relationship of you paying half like that? Oh, uh, is I, that a situation shit? Sound like a situation. Oh, okay, then. I don't know. I'm old school. I'm old school. If it, I somebody said it sounds like bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> That's somebody that only had 25. They didn't want to put in the oh, 50. That's, oh, I, I can't speak to oh, Like you said, whatever works for you. That's what you said, right? But that, that's for me. I just I believe in having a conversation mm -hmm. and saying, okay, well, if this worked for us, let's do a work for us. Okay. But some, some relationships are based on 50-50. I don't understand why. I, I don't believe in 50-50. Okay, I personally so, don't. so what do you believe in? I'm old-fashioned. I feel like the man should take care of the bills, and I feel like the woman should take care of the house. Oh, yeah, that's why you've been divorced twice. <laughs> well, there's some people clapping, so whoever claps, stand up. I, that's, I have potential. Okay, so, you potential believe, so you believe, unless you... <laughs> no, 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 you believe... So you believe that's that the, this, man, as the man, you'll take care of the household? Okay, yes. so what do you require her to do if you're going to take care of everything? I think finesse said the best. I don't need to do nothing but cook, clean, and suck a dick. Am I wrong? Is no. she in here? I'm, I'm being honest. Okay, I just want to know, would any woman have a problem? This, this is what we got to get to the women in, in, in yeah, the audience. I, I hear would any woman have say. a problem with just sucking dick and cleaning? I do. <laughs> okay, so from, a, from your perspective, why? why? Because I want to suck, dig, clean, and fuck. Side, it's three of them. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you believe in 50 50? I mean, no. I, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. It okay. is what it is. We work together. If we're going to do it together, we're going to be in it together, we're going to pay it together, and we're going to work out together. Right. So, she did what she said, pay it together. Okay, but that, that don't that's how 50 50. 50. Because well, if, you if he lose his job tomorrow, then I got to be you the one to step up on, on the phone and that, take care that, of that. I agree. I agree with that. I feel like the woman y'all supposed to be the backbone. If I'm paying for everything, that means all your checks you make, you get the key. So therefore, if I fall, you should be there to pick me up. But you know what? I've seen relationships like that. Mm. Don't y'all stone me. So I've okay. seen relationships <laughs> like that okay. where one said, I'll take care of everything. But then in terms, that person was controlling. They was abusive. She couldn't go nowhere. She had to ask to use ten dollars for gas. Uh, it is a double-edged sword. Now. So, just... so, that, so you're saying you're controlling? Mm -mm. Um, that's why he don't hear sweat like he's not a control. Like a Hebrew slave. Yeah, the questions I get. Right. Um. So, do you do you consider yourself that? Oh, I, I, you know what? Let's get a point of view from a lady in okay. the audience. So, uh, well, no, let me answer the question. Let me answer okay. the question. Cause, cause I'm a bit, I'm to I, I really want to be honest. I really want to be honest. Um, I wouldn't say controlling. I wouldn't say that because that's a what's bad a, what's word. What's another word in, for it? That's a bad word to use in public. You don't say, yeah, I control shit. Um, no, I would say. I, demanding. Demanding. I want. Yeah. I want same thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, who's a teacher in here? I'm gonna need you to stop using these words. I need another word. I don't, I don't teacher, say what's the worst word for demanding <laughs> and controlling? I wouldn't say demanding and controlling. Overbearing. Overbearing. Okay, but if a man is sitting there paying for everything and doing everything, every man is gonna feel a little bit more entitled. No. I'm, I'm sorry, he's gonna feel a little bit more entitled. Hey, DJ. Do no, we, DJ? A, do we have a mic we could take in the audience? Do you have another mic? Okay, so ma'am, stand, stand up. What what you just say? Your, your woman ain't your child. Oh. No, she's not. She's not my. No, she, no, it's not my child. I can't fuck her. True. Okay. So, so if her you, working is her own independence. So if if you if you was a man take care of everything. Yes. What what if she needed something? What if she wanted to go get a car? Or what if she wanted to go buy her bag? Is she able to do that? Yeah, because she, she gotta, works. Well, she got to ask you first. No, she works. Does she want my money to do it? Yeah. Hey, yeah, we're going to talk about this. How much is the bag? I mean, we ain't throwing money around because so she, she ain't going to be able to just that go. That make sense. So she won't be able to just go in the account, get some money, because it's y'all money. See, remember? No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Wait a minute. So it ain't y'all money? Nah, nah, fuck off. That's we, where the control is. I don't know. It's not. It's not. I'm sorry. I'm not the same account type of person. Wait a minute. No, for real, because. Everybody don't handle money well. Let's be honest. Every woman and every, every man. I agree. It, it's always somebody who's fucked up with money. So if I sit up and let her do what she want to do, what if she's a fucked up person with money? 
Well, that's I'm why. I'm looking at the We had 10000 Now we got 6000 because she wanted to go kick it with her friends. I don't know. We ain't doing that shit. Okay, so then you don't trust her. No. <laughs> He's a narcissist. No, I'm not a narcissist. I'm honest as fuck. No, it's a lot of guys that y'all sit beside. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Sir, sir, say that again. Thank you. Do do you agree with that? Well, okay, tread lightly then. <laughs> Are you gonna let your woman just go take the money because y'all have a joint account and do whatever the fuck she wanna do? Well, we got four accounts. Mm. Four? Yeah. Okay. And you know do you care about reason. her dipping in the motherfucker and doing whatever she wants to do without talking to you? No. Thank you. Her money. Thank you. Yeah. So because of that, I kind of, and I don't even know why I'm saying this out loud, I kind of agree with Ricky. Oh! You know, Wait, she said kind of. Kind of, because if you pay it all the bills and you're saying to me that I can do whatever I want to do with my money, and if I'm a good manager of money, then we're cool. We're good. We're good. Right. The Thank key you. word is if you yeah. are a good manager she of money. Yeah. She but done been you, in control of okay, relationship, so too. Just say, just say if you had a girlfriend that was used to being around a bunch of dope dealers, and dope dealers just gave her money, just threw out there to do okay. what the fuck she wanted to do. Now, you get with this man that work hard, and he tell you he going to pay all the bills, uh -huh. and you can keep your money, so you start dipping in his money, what you think he going to say? Thank you. He's not the dope dealer that don't give a fuck about money. Thank you. He's the man that works for money and works hard for money. But she's gonna you. save all her money because she's gonna be too busy on Amazon and shit. See? Oh my God. See? But okay, now the, bi the, the Bible says. Oh, Lord. The Bible says. He goes he, says, he go Reverend Glenn. The Bible says a wise woman builds her house. Right? Okay. right? Yes. So that means. Right? Y'all didn't let me finish. Okay. Uh, turquoise shirt. Let me finish. <laughs> so that means. That when she get money, she's gonna not only is she gonna if she's a wise woman, she's not gonna let you take care of everything in the house. She's still gonna make sure that food is in the house. She's gonna make sure you got clothes. She's gonna make sure there's toiletries, paper towels, uh, wet wipe. Do you yes. use wet wipe? Yes. Do you use dude wipe? I'm a dude wiper. Right. So not only is she gonna take her money, which I'm sure she may not make. Okay, she fine. Come on in, baby. Come on, sit in, baby. Okay. Uh, uh, don't, yeah. Don't do yeah. that. So, not if, if, but but if, if she is a wise woman, she's going to take her money and she's going to make sure that the house is good. She's going to make sure that there's an overflow of toiletries. She's going to make sure that there's an overflow of uh, detergent and games. Yes. So, if she's taking her money and she's doing this, and if she came to you and said, okay, I want to go get a bag. But then she's taking her money and she's applying it to the house already. Can she not do that? Yeah, she can definitely. This is my thing. But then y'all got to have a conversation about her going to get a bag. No, but as a man. Or going to get her hair done. But as a man take care of the house, once again, I going to give her the money for the groceries. And I'm going to give her the money for the dude wipes. He didn't say that. I said the house. I'm sorry. I didn't have to be. I'm going to be specific. Household. Anything I do with the house. Period. So you gonna take care everything. Hold on, hold on. I said it. Yes, I did. Listen. You gonna you gonna take care everything. Well, baby, hold on. I know how your account set up, baby. I can do that. I, I can. I'm gonna take care of the whole house. I know how everybody's I'll, account I'll, set up. I'll drink to that. Yeah, we'll drink to. I drink now, to that. Now, I don't know. I, will agree I don't know that. how your account is set up, but I'm okay. So look. So you going to take care of everything for the house? Yes. If there's any kids, she's gonna take care of the kids too. Yeah. So all her money is just free money to her. For her. That's for her. Oh, That's for nails. That. That's for that person somebody found out the bag That's for that. You believe that? Hold on, hold on. You believe that? Okay, hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on. Okay. I got somebody to vouch for Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Go ahead. You can't. You done slept with it? Oh. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> you can ask somebody who has slept with her. <laughs> She'll okay. tell you. Okay, so tell me.
Yeah. yeah. Back in the day, yeah. When the women, I'm still living when the women didn't know no better. It's real, it's real. Yeah. It was called a housewife and daddy was going and cheating and had three other women. Then stop that. That ain't that one every daddy. Bank. Whatever he laid his hat was his home. Yeah, and when he died. What he laid? Okay. He did. He took care yeah. of his. He took her your house, her house, and his house. Yeah. That's right. <clears throat> I believe it. <clears throat> that wasn't everybody granddad. It's just mine. Alleged. Alleged. <laughs> I like these cars, baby. I love these cars. We're gonna, we're so, gonna be so, you, so that's life. how you all was raised. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. So y'all can. Can I ask you a question? Things would live with me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to ask you okay. a question. You married? He died. See, oh, he died. Wow. See, you were trying to. Nah, look. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She didn't kill him. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sorry mm-hmm. to hear that. Mm-hmm. We eat a lot of salt in our family. Oh, <laughs> well, was, well, I mean, salt now, was the murderer. But everybody. But you know what? This is the thing. There is no manual for a relationship. No. There's no manual. Mm-hmm. So that's why it's important for you to do what works for your relationship. Yes. Because now social media is like the biggest go-to now. Don't listen to social. Same well, people no. be on now be the same people telling you don't do something, but then they doing it themselves. That hot girl summer shit, y'all. How long of y'all fell for that shit? And them girls was in relationships. Well, no hot girl summer. They wanted everybody else to be out here shaking and acting a fool. Well, they could have a hot girl summer. They didn't. They was in, they both again. girls was in relationships. Well, say, I could be a hot girl in a relationship. What's the matter with that? You can, how can you be, okay, please, someone explain to me. How can you be a hot girl in a relationship? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to show you one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I'm going to show you one. Oh, Stand shit. up. Hey, now, man. this is a hot girl. That's my hot girl. In a relationship. Do you see what she got on? Yeah. YSL on her feet. Yeah. YSL in her bag. Yeah, I done that. Yeah. This is a hot girl. Mm-hmm. And she in a relationship. Yeah, but she, she ain't outside. You can't be too hot when you're inside. She can be dish. outside. Every dish you don't get too hot do it trail. I don't know what they're talking about. So, 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 <laughs> she, so, so she can't go outside? Yeah, she can go outside. Oh, okay, hey, thank you. Rolling, like, oh. Oh. Sound like it. oh, who put the side is you on, brother? He don't really know. He just. I know. He's, uh, he, but he on the right side. You, that messy. That's, cool. that's what he doing. He being messy. He's his nigga like you bring up happy homes and shit. I ain't controlling. That woman can do whatever the hell she want to do. I don't stop nothing. Okay. Nope. <laughs> I, I like you. I like you. I like okay, you. I see this is the messy section. No, right that's, a sec- that's a section that's telling the truth. No, that's a messy section. I don't like that section. Why there. do people confuse messy with telling the truth? Charles, they drink double. Okay, so listen, you guys, we're going to take a pause for the call. Just one hot second. We're going to take a a quick commercial, and we're going to be right back after these commercial messages, all right? All right, we got to pay these bills. Please make some noise for sipping. And And one more time, y'all here. Hold on, we got to get everybody. We got to get everybody. Hold your glasses up. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Sipping and tripping. Thank y'all so much. We'll be right back. Right back. Welcome back to Sippin' and Trippin'. Hold on, back microphone. Your mic ain't working. <laughs> he had too okay. much to say up the last. It went off on purpose. Oh, shit. Sure. It was tired of him talking. Anyway, one more time, y'all. Welcome back to Sippin', my people, and Trippin'. All right, all right. Okay, so the next topic that we're going to talk about today, y'all, is um, why is it so hard to support black business? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Uh, can I start this? I done hit some, didn't I? Well, yeah. it's a lot. I'll say it again. Does everybody behave? Oh. No, it ain't got to do it. Wait, you got to be in <laughs> Okay. It, it don't hold on, hold on. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Now, I want to hear this. So you got a business, right? So tell tell us what kind of business you got and what have you encountered from people. Yeah, legal and illegal. <laughs> I, I guess prime example, I guess this one girl got bad because I took her flying or whatever. But I hit the girl hair and now she envy she tried to like before I got my braids like she tried to pick me up, pick me up, oh, yeah. 
And I would stay bored. <laughs> wow. Well, so she that, was bad because you did her, her client hair better than she did. Oh, okay. So you, you, in my perspective, I say make your haters your motivators. Yes. They keep it moving. But then I got yes. something to say. <laughs> I'll go last. It's, because I oftentimes, I, I'm, I'm a business owner. Um, I've owned my business for over 10 years. Okay. Sometimes I think it's a mental thing. Everybody ain't hating on you. You know, to be honest, a lot of folks ain't thinking about you. You know, that I'm just saying. Because oftentimes I see people on social media like, oh, you hating on me. Like, why? Like, you, you don't pay taxes. Uh, you ain't got a mortgage. You still renting. Like, you, you still got a car note. So, like, who is hating on you? Right? But one of the things I think is why it's so hard to support black businesses is how many white people we got? Hey, Marty! So, oh, hey. Oh, we got Marty. Uh, we got the owner. Listen. We got the owner who let us do this, this, this thing. Yeah. Yeah. Some, some of the things is black people got some nasty attitudes. Nasty, hold on, hold on. It, it's a twofold. Nasty attitudes and poor customer service. Ooh. Okay. Now, you okay. could tag team. Uh, you I, it. I, I, okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Some of y'all niggas don't need no business. Some of y'all just Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait up. No. Nope, hold up. Hold up. No, no, no. Let me finish. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Some of y'all ain't got no business. Who no gave business. them businesses? I don't the know. Beep, 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 beep. And Wait a minute now. <laughs> <laughs> because anytime you could just come up with some PPPs in a business. And some of them house okay. address was but, a PPP business. So hold on, hold on, y'all. I'm going to finish. Let me, okay. I, Ash, I'm coming straight to you after this because you feel like you want to get something off She itching over there. She itching. That's Miss Ashley Rose right here, uh, model, and she has her own stuff in her own business. But one thing, okay. I have done business with Ashley before, and I've seen her run her stuff very firmly. I, I respect that. It's the people who run their shit terribly. If you run a yo, if you got a uh, business and you sell food, don't be out of shit. I don't give a fuck that your uncle died. He open, bitch. Need to have everything. Especially if I didn't give you a deposit. Yes. And then you supposed to have my yes. food ready next Friday. Yes. And then you call me Friday morning and say, uh, Johnny was in an accident. And you can't do the service. My cousin was supposed to come and beat faces today. To to the she was supposed to come and beat faces today. You know what she told me? Uh -oh. She got up and went up in Atlanta and said, Oh, I forgot. I thought today was Sunday. Look at bitch. I don't give a flying fuck if you don't know Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And what come out the Friday on Saturday Damn, this, and Sunday? Bitch, family. I don't know. What, it's not a joke. This was your family. Don't yeah. take care of. Folks. No, no, yeah. no, that, no, that's my mama's side. <laughs> this is my daddy's side. <laughs> <laughs> it was just Wait, you know, you <laughs> But I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. I'm speaking, I'm speaking from the people. And another thing, and another thing, the last thing I want to say about black bitches, y'all can't be sitting up there trying to charge. How much? These drinks in here, eight bucks, nine bucks, oh, time. I ain't pay for mine. You got a fucking Sprite. What the fuck you want? This should have been complimentary. Well, I went to a venue. <laughs> I, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait I went a minute. To, we got to finish this. Yeah, go I ahead. I went to Willie B's and we ain't got to. We ain't uh, call no names now. I don't give a fuck. Fuck them. Now, I'm, I'm, this is the Allegedly. Show. Allegedly. <laughs> I went to Willie B's. Okay? And they charged me for two shots of fucking, uh, what's that shit? Rep Repetado? Rep Repetado? Thank you. Thank you for my people who know what you're talking about. They were real alcoholics. They knew how to pronounce it. Um, but for them people, it was $40. Me and my homeboy Terrell got a shot. It was $80. I was so pissed. I had to go around the bar. Bitch, you got to show me what a fucking... Them shots were $20 a piece. Well, I come here, nice white man establishment, eight bucks. Well, see, I don't have... This is fucking ridiculous. Well, you no, too see, high. Well, see, I don't have a problem. They want you to pay I don't rent. have a problem paying for what I want. If it's something that I want, I'm going to pay for it. Like, oftentimes when I go get stuff, I don't ask how much it is. I just buy it. But if it's too high, you will say something. Well, no, if it's good quality, I'm going to buy it. Okay, we was in Murfreesboro, and you complained about the price being ridiculous. It wasn't good quality. Okay. So it's a difference. The how much can wings be? The food was nasty. Well, the food was good, but why was two egg rolls chopped into four? And uh, why was two <laughs> egg rolls? Hold on. No, no, no. The no, truth. Was the truth. <laughs> it was two egg rolls 
chopped into fours and a ham spool of fries. Me and my husband got the same thing. Uh, it was fifty-four dollars. Fifty-four dollars. No, no he, he complained about that shit all yeah, night. Yeah, he was and, mad. And I tipped him because they gave good service. Yeah, I, you know, I tipped him. But this is my thing with with black people and businesses. Oftentimes, you put on social media that hey, I'm selling this, I'm selling hair, whatever, whatever. Why is it when people reach out to you to want to buy your service? And then you got an attitude, you don't respond back timely. Mm, 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 and then mm, when and then you talk about you ain't said good morning. That's, that's not in your uh prerequisite for them to book your services to say good morning. Thank you. You just trying to sell a product. Yeah. Miss Rose has something she wants to say. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you can look at your Facebook page and tell that you got poor customer service. Exactly. Yeah. 
I'm saying, when you go on people's Facebook page, <laughs> their business would line up with their lifestyle. Yeah. And so that's what I'm, I, I don't want to work with you, and then I see you keep up drama, yep. all of this on your page. I don't want to do this, because I think you're going to do me wrong, and you're going to steal yeah. from me. Yeah. Right? I'm a prophet. Uh-uh. All right, so stupid. We as people of color, we need to stop mm. sexism. Mm. Special privilege. Come on. Because you are a person of color. Come on. Yes. Because you a nigga. Come on. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, wait a minute now. <laughs> wait. I said that earlier. Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I got to get up from here, John. You deserve a microphone. <laughs> Stand up. Yes, baby. You don't listen. You're out of order. Your marketing is horrible. And your customer service stinks. You pass out your business cards, and they're awful. And I just did a class with last month. 15 business cards in my purse. 15 and I passed them around, they were all horrible. You got your Gmail on there, why coochie bitch and all this stuff on your stuff. That's crazy. It's the well, if she's selling pussy, if she's selling pussy, it's okay to have why coochie bitch on there, you know. I mean, if she's selling pussy, you know. I mean, if she's in the coochie bitch, it's fine, you know. It's awful. You might just be in the coochie bitch. I'm serious. I mean, that's what I see. And you want to come to me as a marketing person and you want to know, how can I get on TV? Well, the first thing, you can't have that on your card. Yes. I can't well, why does she want to do porn? What? She's a whole in the way. She got a lot of coochie on the card. Yeah. Just give it to her. The marketing, <laughs> and like you said on Facebook, that is horrible. Because when people go out and look for you, and they start searching, and they see all this drama and stuff, mm -hmm. you're absolutely correct. You're going to pop off with me if I ask you a question. Yep. That is not good. So can I ask a question? Kat, why don't each one teach one? If you see something that's wrong, Give them some advice. Cause wait a, a minute, times, wait a minute. Hold on. Advice ain't free. Huh? Understand. No, understand. But if we want our culture. That's right there. How much you charge? Because she just gave you a lot of free advice. Understandable. But, Glenn, if everybody look at it like it, everybody can't afford But what about for the people who are willing no, to? No, hold on. I disagree. Okay. Because let me tell you something. If we want it, we'll pay for it. Exactly. We, we pay for whatever. Weed ain't cheap. <laughs> W E E D ain't cheap. And we ain't either. W E A V E ain't cheap. But guess what? But people invest three, four hundred dollars in a wig. Yeah. I've seen yeah. folks invest three thousand dollars in a in a pound. And they had look I'll like this. Look, look, they wig look. I ain't telling you what I heard, I'm telling you what I've seen. Yeah. Y'all so, lost front, they probably look like my hat. People will admit, but, but you know what? If we take a poll, which you know, we're not going to do. Yeah, we're going to do. If we took a poll in here and said, how many black people, how many black business in, businesses in here has a business license? How many black businesses in here have, uh, don't raise your hand, sweetie, because we ain't through yet. <laughs> so if we ask how many black businesses has went to etiquette class, Ooh. how many black businesses has went to management class. Ooh. How many black businesses have went to customer service class? Ooh. Have you educated your class? Yeah, yeah. Right. And then yeah, also, go. hold on, this is this, this the one that, that take the cake. Oh, there you go. How many business owners pay taxes Ooh. on the product that they sell? Well, mm -hmm. Look at y'all. Look at you know, that. Like some this, people here, they is, shook at the game. And see, this is why it's so hard, really, Allegedly. for people to respect <laughs> black businesses, business owners, because guess what? Truth be told, you don't know really about your business. Your business yeah. is really not up to standard because of, like, what she your was saying. Ain't it ain't business. And like she was saying, hey, and I, and like you said, you got your brain license, whatever, whatever. See, Somebody turning you in could have been the least of your worries because guess what? My stuff is on the up and up. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a licensed hairstylist, been doing hair for over 10 years, but the hair game just ain't what it used to be. 
No, everybody doing weed. You, you, you do weed. You do weed. You get beat. You get a wig. You get a wig. <laughs> you get, it ain't just what you get beat by some chick in the basement who's doing it I for mean, cheaper. But, but this is the thing. Business owners, I want you all to hear what I'm about to say. This is going to hold somebody, right? And then we're going to move forward. Every client is not your client. So when you go in Kroger or Walmart, right? Mm -hmm. This is passionate for me. You see Wonder Bread. You see Ideal. Mm -hmm. You see Great Value. What is some more? Hostess. Bunny. Bunny. They all lined up in the same row on the same shelf. Yeah. But guess what? The person that's going in there and putting that bread up there, he ain't trying to move the other bread off the shelf because he, you know what? He knows somebody want ideal. Somebody want blue bunny. Yes. Listen, I used to own a boutique. And huh, you better tell the folks. I had a necklace in my boutique for $95. A, a lady right down from me, she had a boutique too. She had the necklace in her boutique for $25. But all I'm trying to tell you, my clientele was not her clientele. Yeah. Somebody will come into my business and pay the $95 for the mm -hmm. necklace. So that's all I'm trying to let y'all know. Know don't your think worth. Every, know your worth. Know your worth. And don't take down from what you charge. But then make sure your Product is up to up to par. So if I buy it from you, and it ain't, I'm gonna get you. I he he will go straight to social media on your ass and will, and then tag you in, and then add you in. Hold on, I ain't I don't, you. Hold, you right? I'm gonna read it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because I'm gonna get you on social media. Because see, my thing is, this is what I do. I'll give, and you talk about giving businesses a chance. I'm that dude, and my husband will tell you, I had a. a Salt Memphis. Mm. Okay, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. So, Home of the yeah, first yeah, Salt, Salt Memphis. Uh, so I had a little bad run in with them. So before I went to social media, I wanted to make sure I rectified the situation. Reached out to the owner, owner didn't call me back. Reached out to the manager, the manager didn't call me back. So I said, y'all got 24 hours. <laughs> to get somebody in contact with me. You think they were dead like that? Did I not? Did I not? I gave them 24 hours. That 24th hour. Soon as it hit. Bitch, I was on. I had my Zoom set up like this with my camera. I was ready. Oh, shit. Because here I am trying to rectify the business with another black business owner, and you didn't want to rectify. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hit you where it hurt. I'm going to hit you in the pockets. And so I did a video. It went viral. And then I also I went to, to, to uh, Google and did a review. And then I went to the Better Business Bureau yeah, and did a review. Ooh. Bitch, and they just had started. <laughs> I didn't want to hurt him too bad. Well, you, did. you didn't. No. He went to every platform. That was just light work. That was, but as a business owner, when somebody's trying to reach out to you, when you know you've wronged somebody and they're trying to rectify the situation, rectify it. Then you get mad when they go to social media and want to blast you. Okay, so let's just say this. If you have a black business, please take it seriously. Quit treating each other like we less than. Because if you go to the white man and pay the full price, or go to Ling Ling and pay the full price, then then when your sister, the same sister that you hired, I give me a discount. Pay your sister. Take care of our people. Because if we don't, who the fuck will? We minorities, baby. They don't give a fuck about us. So therefore, if we don't help each other, nobody will. So let's start helping each other. Don't ask for no more damn discounts. Because number one, I'm tell you, if your punk ass can't afford it, you don't need to be doing it. If I can't afford Prada, guess what? I don't go in the motherfucking store. You know, I don't walk in that bitch well, asking for no discount. Yeah, yeah, he I don't. He sent me in the store. I went yeah. I go, I go he there and, I look and I tell good. him, hell no, that's too motherfucking that. And I said, Slick is Prada. It's YSL. Mm -mm. She got it on the night. Look, I you that is her birthday. <laughs> And I'm going to knock, knock the line out of the press for that YSL. I'm going to give me some YS and some L later. You want to? Who is yeah. Lil Prince? Yeah. What's Lil Prince? Some one sucking licking. You know, that's what I'm going to be doing. You know, that's oh, yeah. me You sucking that's, and licking. That's, that's what, that's what YSL stands that's for that's me. That's you that's sucking that's and that's licking. That's okay, I'm sorry. Is that a small business? I mean, no. <laughs> he act like it is. It's going to be my business. 
I mean, but it ain't everybody. Hey, what they say, nothing in life for free. <laughs> See, this, this, this to do that will go to a small business that want a discount. I, no, no, I wouldn't. No, no, I wouldn't. Because if you ask anybody, I support my people. Portia, do I ask you for discount? She tell me the price, I pull the what fuck Porsche up. What Portia do? Portia does hair. You license Portia? Oh, damn license. Damn good. Okay. Damn. So, Portia, come, come up here. Come up here. Come here, Portia. Come on. You got some people here that's vouching for you, Portia. Oh, yeah. In the Come on, Portia. So, Portia, so you do hair. I do. So, have you ever encountered um, bad customers? I have. Okay, tell us a little bit about. Um, I actually had a bad experience. I went to someone to uh, let them do my hair. Oh, it was an awful job, y'all. It went viral. Oh. It went viral. She did what you did. <laughs> and I had to blast her. And she didn't give her 24 hours. Yeah, you she gave the bitch 20 minutes. Like me, she can work hard and show business ethics and, you know, um, give a great experience. You know, that's what I'm about, the experience. And so she let me down. And I had to let her know what was going on. She didn't want to get my money back. Well, be ready to put your, um, um, get ready to put your, Business on the line. Yeah. And she so, wasn't like this. So, oh, did, hold on. I'm starting to at this point. Yeah. So, <laughs> did she not do your hair to the standard of what she was expecting? She was shaking the dice on the hair. She did my hair awful. I awful. look like Rugrats. Rugrats. So her pictures online were amazing, but going to her in person was awful. Okay. So, next question. So, did you send her the exact picture? of what you wanted, or you said, do me something like this? No, I actually wanted a whole other different style, and she said she couldn't do it, so she accommodated another style for that, and that was awful. Mm. Now, mm, mm, the mm, style mm. she accommodated <laughs> <laughs> was the style. <laughs> there wasn't no style. But it was, no, there wasn't no style. <laughs> but she accommodated you, though. No, she she gave you her accommodation. No. Allegedly. I work, 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 I you know, you order something from Shane, y'all. You know, you order something from Shane, and the model looks real good on. But then I ordered this and got this. Uh, right now, it's Slay by Chalet on Instagram, and I'm currently looking for a shop for myself because I want to provide my people with the experience that they deserve. Yes. Exactly. So that's what's going on, and y'all look forward to it. If you have property, if you know a commercial business, make please noise. talk to it. That's what I'm saying. Each one teach you, everybody help each other. So if you do real estate or you do property, please holler at Portia because she is looking for a brick and mortar right now. How, Portia, how far are you willing to go? Murfreesboro or you just want to stay around here? Yeah, okay, we staying around here. Okay, in any of y'all. Yeah. Stay with your home base. Sometimes you got to get out of here. Sometimes you do. Sometimes. They got my people. Hi. Okay, I don't, I don't mean to be getting, okay, I'm sorry. All right, so listen. We're going to take a brief commercial break, you guys. And we got a guest. And we yes, got and we're going to come back with our guest, none other oh, than from Bumpin' 96.3. Oh, yeah. None other than La Vida Laku. We'll oh, be right yeah. back after these commercial minutes. Oh, yeah. Happy to say, the one and only Slick Baby. Look, we have to start being honest with these ugly song bitches. If you want a man with a job, raise your hand. You want a man with a good job, can fuck, good dick, and all that shit. <laughs> this nigga don't exist. Look. It's okay, sis. That's why you keep that wolf puss at your big ass. <laughs> Some of you bitches out of control. <laughs> Quit asking me on Thanksgiving if I'm gonna stop by and meet your family. <laughs> Bitch, no. Anyway, are y'all having a good time? Clap if you are having a good time. One time for me, please. 
Thank y'all so much once again. We can't, we ain't nothing without y'all. Once again, we gotta give our props and give our show our love out to all of y'all for coming. Shout out, out to the people. The black people. Sure, so he'll knock the next ass down. Okay, um. <laughs> so listen, you all, we have a special, special guest oh, yeah. with us today, all yeah. the way from Memphis, Tennessee. Come on. We know we got some Memphis in the house. Come on, you first 48 mama, y'all. Please make some noise from bumping. 96.3 FM. Yes. La Vida Macu. So introduce yourself and tell everybody a little bit about La Vida. Wow, thank you. Actually, now it's Dr. World Famous looking. Okay. Oh, I stand corrected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and I stand correct. Don't forget the doctor. Respect. All right, so. I am the brand strategist for Bumpin' 96.3, as well as our new station, which is uh, Right On Radio, 87.7, mm. oh. as well as brand strategist for On Location Memphis. Come on! As well as <laughs> co-founder of Jump Star Trip Business. Well, call the roll in! Um, and, oh, of course, the doctorate in humanity. Oh, oh my Jesus! Amen! This ain't some educated pussy. I don't know what it is. Oh, that is honorary. I got my degree in the street. Oh, oh, oh. Uh -huh, it's honorary, baby. Wait a minute, but wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. Hey. Hey. But how good is it though? Oh, it's fine, baby. I ain't never heard. I ain't never had it, but uh, allegedly they told me. I don't know. It's the truth. Not the truth, it. She's the one of the truth, it. Allegedly. <laughs> Look, y'all heard me fuck you talking about that. Okay. <laughs> oh, don't get Memphis on me now. Hey, y'all know. Now y'all know she's from Memphis. You yeah. better watch this. Oh. Slow down. I know I need to see she might shank me. Nah, we ain't gonna shake you, baby. We gonna okay. shoot you. Oh. <laughs> oh. But, but it's so awesome to be here. Thank y'all so much for having me on Sip. Thank you for and coming. Trip man. Yes. yes, absolutely. And uh, with Bumpin' ninety six point three, I also have a show on there. It's called Memphis Love Butter Radio Show every Saturday. So you can listen to it online because we live stream. So it's so amazing. I'm so happy to be here. Uh, our bumping station plays nothing but throwback hip hop. Wow. So okay. from the beginning okay. of hip hop all the way to 2000. Yes. Yes. And so um, it's so awesome to be able just to build a brand and to connect so many great artists that I love. Can I get a job? Come on, baby. Now you wasn't even what on time today. Uh oh. What kind of job you want? And he wasn't either. So, yeah, so, yeah, so, um, on, right, right on radio, we play all the soul, RB music from um, the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, all the way up. So, it's really exciting. Awesome. So, you, you, so this, this is our open conversation segment. So you were saying over there that was something you didn't agree with. Yeah. Okay. We so know. Tell us a little bit what you didn't agree with. Uh -oh. Okay, so when he was like, I pay him, him right here, was talking about how <laughs> it's he always paid good. everything in the house or whatever. Well, I'm in the house. And so a wise woman, thank you, yeah, Elder, come on. a wise woman will take your funds and multiply your funds. Yes. And then she would get Maria to clean the house. Then she would get Miss Ella Jean to make your food. And I'm going to put it on the plate on, real hold nice. Hold on, hold on, hold on, and then, hold on. But you want me to fuck you, right? On, you don't want no lazy on. pussy, right? You I got to you hold, can, on. Hold, hold on. 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 Women have been fucking and cleaning for decades. Baby, I'm the house, And the house, and and the house still got yeah. sheets up to the wall, to yeah, the windows. Yeah, exactly. No, yeah. Mm -hmm. See, I'm going to teach you what the rich white woman, women taught me. All okay. right, so then, you want you don't want no toot up pussy, do you? I got to lift this stomach up, say that motherfucker. <laughs> Everything. You, what I'm saying? You, you got to lift it up. I got to lift that stomach up. That I food. That food. Shit. Mm. Got to stop breathing there, motherfucking thing. Trying to save this pussy. <laughs> Women, am I lying? No, no. I know I ain't. Oh, there's plenty of football out there. They know what you're talking about. I don't know why they you know all crying. Yeah, it's a football room. Okay. You well, you so you don't know well. So do, do you believe relationships are 50, 50 should be 50-50? No, they should be 100-100. Okay. okay. I need everything. That sounds like greedy. 
I, I'm a greedy bitch. How the fuck are you doing 100 and 100? That, that, that's 200. No, you give 100%. 100, 100, 200. If I, you give 100 and I give 100, that's 200. No, that's 100. What yeah. math is that? I'm trying to no figure out what math. You ain't, your math ain't math. No, my math is math. It's only 100%. It's 100. If, I, if you give it 100%, I should not do shit. Nah. I'm trying to figure this out. Your math ain't math. Nah. You ever had somebody, you that might, might slide on it now like corn on a car. That's how you know she Memphis. That motherfucker be lazy eating the pussy. Nah, don't be lazy. Who, who, I'm not a no. lazy person. Okay, then. So I give a full effort. I'm giving a hundred percent on that dick. You give me a hundred percent eating that pussy oh. and everything else. That's Baby, what somebody about. clapping back there. Okay. You, okay. you, you feel it? I'm you feel it? I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give my hundred percent eating some pussy. I thought you were talking about finances. You were talking I'm about, about everything. You were talking about some nasty. Nah. Nah, I ain't talking about no nasty. Hey, just, what is that? I'm going to get a whole college track. I'm going to get a whole one of them. No, but that's what you understand, boo boo. I'm just trying to put in terms. Did you, you just boo boo me? Yeah, yes, I did. Boo 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 boo. Oh, boo boo boo. I just boop, got boo. And you got boo. But I'm going to give 100%. I feel. Yeah. Okay, I just. Okay, let me ask you a question. Ladies, me and everybody, when is the breaking point in a relationship? For what? For, for it to be over. When is it? Well, I don't know. Point? You done had two that was over, so you tell us. All right. You done had one. Damn. Damn. When was your breaking point? <laughs> okay. Allegedly. Okay. Allegedly. Now, 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 this ain't allegedly. It was okay. the truth. It was the truth. So, so tell us. You got me. What, you got what, what you was got your, me. like, what was yeah. it, what did it take to get you to that breaking point? Um, I want to type people that I love, I love hard. Okay. So it takes a lot for me to be like, you, because I got a friend right here, I cried in front of this man, Travis, raise your hand, I cried in front of him, he said to say, you're stupid as shit, Theo, raise your hand, I cried in front of this man, it took a lot, it's, when I love, it's a lot to get me away, mm -hmm. so when I'm done, I'm motherfucking done, because I've tried everything under the sun, bitch, to make this work, because I love hard, you feel what I'm saying, so it took a lot for me. A lot. I'm trying to see what other people's breaking point is because my breaking point is too far. I need a shorter breaking point. Like, this is one man. Like, with the, the one you need a shorter breaking point. I do. No, seriously, because this motherfucker right here. You talking about the one with the Dwayne Wayne last Yeah, the Dwayne Wayne right there. The different world looking nigga. That motherfucker, that what what he. I, no, honestly, see, I've known him for years. What he say he does. That motherfucker's done. Yeah, I he, like better, he better get that birthday gift on time. Nah, he don't get a fuck. <laughs> no. He don't. He better get that birthday <laughs> gift on time. And he, and he better get what the fuck he want. <laughs> or he's gonna be done. Nah, uh uh. -uh. I'm with you. Because he was almost outdoors over a birthday gift. Oh, yeah, that nigga was. Because, you know, from my understanding, she said yeah. you got a whole motherfucking year to know what the fuck she wants. Huh? Oh. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. And if yeah. you you got a whole year to get you mean to tell me you can, got you mean to tell me you can find in him? <laughs> no, no, no. Now I didn't say he was great with gifts. Oh, okay. I, was great. I said that said the motherfucker when, when it's time to cut it off. Y'all know what I mean. When you know that situation where you should have left a long time ago. I ain't the only stupid motherfucker in here. Yeah. I'm not. I know a lot of you motherfuckers. There's a lot of other stupid niggas in here too. You know what I mean? All right. We ain't gonna look at something just so, call so him so all the so stupid. So let me ask you this. Because you're talking about a breaking point, and I yes. want y'all to answer this. If you were in a relationship, uh -huh. and your spouse went out and had a baby on you, Ooh, shit. I'm broke. would you stay? Okay, I'm broke. okay. okay. Hold, on. hold on, number one, before people get to, you gotta understand. Yeah, yeah, hold on, let's not, let's, I'm about to say the answer. Y'all gotta understand, your business is your business. Fuck what your friends no, say. Wait a Fuck minute. what your friends say. We ain't talking about them. We on the panel. We talking about the panel people. I want. Oh, yeah, yeah. It depends on what I do. Cause I might have pushed her out that way. Cause sometimes I'll be honest. Sometimes we do shit. No, hold on, brother. No, hold on. Sometimes we do shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Cause you can push. You're talking too much. You can push your motherfucker. Hold on, you talking too much. Okay. Hold on. Before hold on. I say about talk less. If you love me, fuck all that. I can't push you nowhere. You feel me? If you love me, you gonna stay there. Regardless. Bullshit. And you gonna be real with me. Bullshit. If you not you. taking care of the woman's needs, fuck you. you not taking care of the needs. If you get pregnant, fuck you. Well, condom, bitch. <laughs> If you love me, I won't find out shit. Maybe they ain't you gonna respect me to the fullest. 
You hey, feel me? Bro, shit happens, man. Make that nigga wear a condom, bitch. Respect me to the motherfucking footage. If you ain't gonna respect me, then guess what? Move on, bitch. So what is this? Wait a minute. Hold on. 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 But she stuck by me, right? But guess what? If she wouldn't have had a baby, if I wouldn't have had a baby, I wouldn't expect her to stay. But if she did, you feel me? But you wouldn't expect her to leave either. You wouldn't expect for her to leave either. What if she did? You wouldn't expect for her to forgive you. Now guess what? And be with you because if she the other fuck that me, you wouldn't feel the same way. We are gonna gonna try to beg you back. We ain't gonna we gonna beg you back. If you stay, that's your dumb ass fault. Oh, yeah. we done now. I mean, I'm keeping real. We done if now. Play, no, if you play, we done because we done. Listen, time out, time out. Because if you play me, I'm gone. You feel me? I'm, you don't get no chances. It ain't no chances. That's a double standard, bro. I don't care, though. You oh. got, listen, you had your, you had a chance to lead, too. But you should call her stupid if she's stupid. No, scared. listen, I'm not calling Let me tell you something. Love. Okay. Love, love, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, I, I want to speak on this right quick. Hold on, so, so, like, real quick, real quick. Sir, you done been through this before? <laughs> no, but I gotta. This, this my whole, this is my whole thing right here. This I'm one of these chance. people. This is my homie right here. Like he said, two of the homies in the room knew his situation, right? I was one of them homies. I was like, bro, I ain't the type of dude to tell nobody to leave nobody. But it got to the point where I was stupid. It was time to fucking go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you gonna drag her through the mud. She was doing shit to this man like we did. We're 15, 16 year old mm-hmm. together. I like, dude, she acting just like one of us. She a whole dude. You feel me? Yeah. He said that he ain't. No, like- she went. He wasn't dating the dude. She was a woman. She was. She was a nice looking woman too. What the crazy part about it? I knew this young lady. She was like family to me. She was like one of my best friends, you know what I mean, cousin. So it was his first cousin. So I knew how she was right. I knew her upbringing. I knew his upbringing. I thought they were perfect for each other. But man, she turned around. She was she was like one of us. She was, she was like a dude when she came to do. She was a man eater. You know what I'm saying? So, so Slick, you was a do boy. No. Okay, look, hey, look, 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 hey, look, he's a fair face, boy. Right. I ain't never so been no cat tell do boy. Cause now, from the sound no, of she ran all over you. No, I was a sucker for love, and I told you, once okay. I love a person, it's hard for me to goddamn it let go. Okay, it ain't got nothing to do with being no two boy. Well, how many niggas did it take you to get to the center of the two? Oh, sucker. Oh, sucker. Oh, what? Sucker. Oh, sucker. Oh, Do boy. <laughs> Says the one married motherfucker up here. And he gave up with me. We don't even trust this judge. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. You can't hang with the Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me tell you something. You ain't going to do what I'm going to do. Oh. Be careful, cause oh. put me in a room oh. with a group of women, and I bet they pick me over you. Ooh. They can have you, you don't want them. Who gives a shit? <laughs> I still win, motherfucker. Uh-huh. Come on. <laughs> Once they find out all y'all strictly dead, I'm, I'm, I'm the best thing in the room. Uh, don't let this suit fool you. I ain't gonna work. let it, I ain't gonna let it fool me. <laughs> Shit, my little love bug. Yeah, I like it. I like it. <laughs> that, mean, that means she's fucking and ain't no relationship. Okay. That's what the fuck that means. It is because you know what? I'm a busy lady. And so many um, men have real um, insecurity oh, issues I can feel when it, it comes to a, a woman that knows a lot of people. So they think that they're not important and mm-hmm. they don't have what they, you know. 
I actually yeah, think it's just the business that we're in. That, that yeah, does become, it is. Yeah. It is a lot. It that's is why they thing. get a woman they can control. Right. And not have been through relationship yeah. like yeah. that. Yeah. And they want to put their hands on you. Some gay men do they the same. Do. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, don't do that. I mean, how don't would you know? Man. Are you a gay man? Ooh. 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 I'm sitting beside one. Hold on. I'm not have a gay man. Have you said in one? Before you got here. Have you in one? Them tennis they know you ain't no one damn man. They got tennis now with dicks. Yeah. yeah, he yeah. got both. There you go, he right got too. both. <laughs> <laughs> he got both. You know what I'm saying? He got both. He got But I bet my dick bigger than yours. Oh, let me see. It really don't matter. Who, who your dick for don't matter to none of these ladies in this motherfucker. I don't know why you even keep putting that out there. All dick matters. All dick matters. All love. dick matters. All dick matters. Even the dick that don't want you. All dick matters. How you know what don't okay. want her? You okay. don't know that. Oh, you want to fuck Sean? What? I mean, she attractive. Oh, look. Oh, yeah. Oh, he that is very attractive. Oh, this nigga's bi. That's what the hell is. Because if it's one of my hands, you know what? And you know what? Guess what? If I wanted you, I could have you. Oh, you know? Motherfucker, there's no way in the goddamn yeah. world. Look hey, at that. Why, 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 why the lights on? Yeah, uh, I will take you lights off. Uh huh. No, sir. That's what they all say. Yeah, you're not. Uh uh. This is, this, is, this is definitely what I say. Yeah, no, sir. Hey, this is interesting. Oh, but you ain't my type. Oh, it's that so good. Yeah, you ain't mine either. Back, you got back to the air. Back to the air. What's my type? Back we had balls, motherfucker. It was the balls for me. Okay, I'm sorry. It was the balls for me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. sipping and tripping. Oh, we tripping. See, look, 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 look y'all. The more we get to sipping, the more we get to tripping. Yeah, damn. And mine is Sprite. <laughs> for the record. Yeah, he just an asshole by nature. By nature, and yeah. they pay me for it. God done that. That was, that was God's evil trip. Yeah, I'm sorry. No. Look, stop. We have a guest. Okay. Yeah. Um, Go ahead, ask what you You're the ask. main one. Ask what you're oh, going to ask. Okay. I wasn't about to ask another. They oh, were okay. talking about click ticklers. Wait a minute. Ooh, the, that's the, like the that penis, pass. Yeah, the penis so not as big, but it, it's just enough to tickle. The the Does size big. matter with you? Yeah. Sure. The size I matter with size. Hold on, hold on. The yeah. size yeah. matter with all you women? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. No, uh, I got a two story, two story. She said, hell yeah. Hell fuck yeah. Okay, so this guy, I mean, he was rich. I mean, the boy, he was fine. When I tell you fine, like, oh my God. Just body together, everything. I can see your glow. I know, because I'm just going back to the memory. Hey man, he had an IP address. That's called infant penis. It was that big. And he gonna say, baby, go ahead and suck it. Go ahead and suck on it. What you want me to blow on that motherfucker? Like, that's it. I said, my stomach hurt. I ain't even. I had just got about 3,500 in it. Glenn, I knew she blew it with that damn Komodo jacket on. She, <laughs> you know, they bow. You did. I ain't doing nothing. I said, my stomach hurt, baby. Your stomach hurt. And then I jacked them off though like this. So even if he wasn't a so if, if he was a good I did jack them so off. So if he was a good guy, come on, bro. That was a turn off for you. So if he was a good guy, that was a turn off for you. That's a big turn off. Very shallow. That's a big turn off. That's a big turn Very shallow. I'm the type. I'm, I want to fuck. I gotta see what that mouth do, what that dick do for I do in a relationship. I, I'm oh. that type. I'm that type for real. I was just having a conversation with my publicist up in the car right here. I'm very shallow. If I got no ain't nothing wrong with that. If that's how you feel. I gotta be able to together. Yeah. I gotta be able to fuck you when I'm tired, when I'm sick, when I'm hungry, when I don't want to. All this. You feel what I'm saying? I'm just saying, love. I'm just saying. You the same way? Yeah. I got you shout out to you. That's, that's when you know the dick is good when you want to fuck with him. See yeah. And, and when I'm mad? Like, when you mad, at, when he pisses you off and you still want to fuck with him. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Oh, Lord. That's that good Lord. foot with a teeth. That's the best time. Better know it. Ooh. I'm angry. I'm, angry. I'm, I'm mad now. I ain't the hell 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 hell. Angry. <laughs> You should be, you I'm should be, go home. you should be my brother. I he just rocked it. I do. 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 I do
She got a bouquet. I don't matter what it is. It don't matter what it is. It does the job before I go to sleep. What's a good sex? And it puts you to sleep. It put me night night. And you ain't got to argue with it in the morning. No, don't. I never own toys. I just like you never? No. Get you one of those with the tongue on the ground. Tell you to change your mind. I heard about that, but I'm just The ones with the what on it? The one with the tongue on it. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. I ain't seen them on TV. I'm just guessing. Don't see them on TV. The best head rolls ever. Don't see them on TV. Timu takes forever. I love T-Mobile. Hey, hey, three weeks in a month. You gotta, oh, you gotta order that shit when you think about it. Cause, <laughs> Cause when you not thinking about it when it comes, let, let, let motherfucker take that goddamn long. T-Mobile will say, your shit has left China. <laughs> your, shit is, your shit in Beijing. Your, it just hit the United States. The bitch like, goddamn. Can I go pick this motherfucker up somewhere? T-Mobile right, so longer than a listen, motherfucker. You guys, so we are in open conversation. So is there a question from the audience something that you all want to ask, discuss. We call this segment, I'll drink to Come that. Come on, somebody. Somebody got We call this segment, mind. I'll drink to that. If someone says so, something that you agree with, then we're going to raise our glasses and we'll drink to that. Oh, my, God damn. My brother is here now. Stand up, boy. No, 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 we don't want you to ask a damn. Oh, he, that is my motherfucking guy. You got to say that. Oh, he, he, that motherfucker great got some good dick. I already know. He crazy than a motherfucker. Don't even look crazy. Yeah, he actually, hold on, he actually does sex dungeons for women who like to be tied up and submissive. He really does that for okay. real. Ashley turned all the way around. Okay. Baby, she said, well. <laughs> no, nah, seriously. Hold on, hold on. Come here, brother. Come hold on, brother. Hold, on. hold on. Don't don't bring brother yet. Ashley, come here. Y'all, we went to a fashion show last. No, no. No, we want to show you a fashion show. We went to, oh, I just want y'all to see her walk. Come on, Crash. <laughs> That's Girl, you song. can't be shy. You a business owner. Oh, business owner ain't like shy. So Ashley put on one of the biggest plus size fashion shows yes. here in Nashville. Yes, definitely. So tell everybody a little bit about what you got coming up. Oh, so I host a show entitled "Sorry for the Wait." It takes place in the fall. Um, it's scheduled for Sunday, October eighth this year. The auditions are this year, July thirtieth. And I am looking for plus size models, both male and female, 18 and up. The women have to be a size 14, and the guys have to be a 40 in the waist or above. Oh, let them know how to spell the weight. Spell them sorry for the oh, weight. Sorry for the weight, W E I G H. Yeah, I thought that was so clever when she done that. Yeah, and we have a pretty good show. We didn't have anywhere from 250 right. to 300. Pretty good, baby. That show was fine. We had a ball. Awesome. If, if you attended, my show last night, I saw I just yeah. opened up a new venture um, yes. called Fireworks. Thought like fireworks, but fireworks. Okay. So we do a 4th of July theme. And so last night was a very, very first uh, appearance of that. And they had the if you love that, yeah. I mean, if you like that, you really, really, really love Star yeah. for the Waste. Star I seen for the waste. every bit of Ash yeah. last night, yeah. Oh, Ashley, tell them how to find you, sweetheart. For the people who be like, well, how do I get in touch or how do I want to find you? Please tell them real quick and then get a mic back. You can find me on Facebook at A Rose, that's R O S E, the model. So A Rose, the model on Facebook. And Instagram, you can find me at I am A Rose, the model. And my website is www.iamarose.biz. Thank you. You got them shirts available? I can do pre orders. Okay, so y'all, these yes. shirts she got on, got thighs. And she has a shirt line, BBL. Yes. Biscuit, biscuit, bees, and lead cores. Okay, <laughs> we, we fuck with you, ass. But that's what I'm saying. We're supporting each other. Yes. Yeah, that's, a real, she, that's a real But she puts on a professional show. If the show yes. more professional, we wouldn't even talk about it. I, I, I would be like, that's A Rose, that's it. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, we ain't got time to be wasting no time with people who be bullshit. But I've worked with her, and I did her sorry for the wait last year. She is very strict, she's very on her shit, and I respect that. I'm an asshole in my business, so I, I very much respect that. All right, you, I said, did you have a question in the back? No, he was coming. You ain't got side. Yeah, you I, got side. You got side right track. <laughs> no, brother. I oh, it was. Say it again. Okay. Okay, brother. I need you to do it for me. No, no, no. 
Cause my brother has a new thing going. I didn't know that women. I didn't know y'all like to be tied up. I know. Don't have. Nigga, you knew that. No, I did not know that. No, he he does. No, he does. The what is it called? So you didn't know no woman like to be tied up. Come on, no, no, not the way he got him. He got a hold. Come on up here, sir. Come on, come on, brother. Swing, that's the smallest shit in there. He got a spank roll. Yeah, a... Go ahead. Well, it's my brother out of his Corey. They want to know are you single? Hold on. Nope. Ooh, who said no? <laughs> Wait a minute. Somebody trying to get locked up. Right. Somebody that want to be in the room. Somebody want to party 50 shades of gray. No, what we do with Central BDSM, um, I think it's a real taboo conversation in our community. Black people don't talk about shit, right? So I wanted to open something up to make sure that we were able to express ourselves in any way that we feel sexually. We talked about the rose up here, which is a dope toy for the ladies. And men, I need for y'all to be more involved with your women, right? Say that again. I That's why they come to me. Be more involved with your ladies, you know? Ah, you ladies. <laughs> That's real. Hey, are you lying? Uh-huh. No, but it's an important thing in our community to be expressed that way. You know, people wonder why our relationships don't work. It's because we don't talk. We don't communicate. We don't say what we want. So ladies, do y'all like toys? Ladies, do y'all like toys? Well, let me ask you this. Ladies, do you want to bust a nut? you know and keep you informed. A lot of y'all follow one of us up here, so you will know. 
but we are gonna have a rooftop station just like this. We're gonna do an all white one. You wanna do an all white? What, no, what color should we do, white. y'all? Let's do something. I'm tired of all white. Someone give me a suggestion. What should we do, y'all? Yellow. 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 Yellow.
Marty, Marty, do me a favor. Have him bring the cake from the back, Marty. Can you do that for me? Tell him bring the cake from the back. We can't hear you, girl. We need you to get that mic again. I'm DJ, sure. Can, DJ, can you give us a bir birthday? We had a birthday song, and now we're finna turn up. The show is over. We're finna turn up now. And thank you, everybody, for coming out. We really appreciate y'all so much. Y'all can follow me at World Famous Energy. Oh, no, tell them again. All right, you can follow me at World Famous Energy on Instagram, as well as Power Media Solutions, my publicist handles, all that kind of stuff. And then you can follow at Bumpin963 on Instagram, on Facebook, everywhere. You see World Famous Levita McCoo. Uh, just type in World Famous Levita, don't pop up. Thank y'all so much for having me. Man, you, you, man, you are every bit of energy. And you max this energy up here. Thank you so much, sweetheart. We appreciate you. So much. I hope you had a good time. You have a good time? I think they, they lost the game. Yeah, we're we coming to Memphis next time. Y'all yeah. have to catch us on 96.3. Let's go. To so all my Memphis folks, how about let's go? Thank y'all, and we are out. We're sipping. Come on, raise them up. Bring the cake out. Bring the cake out. Come on. <laughs>